Hey guys, Derek here, Car839, and this video, quick video, I want to go over the intercooler cooling system on the Speed UTV. Uh, I've got the El Jefe, I believe all of them are the same. Uh, I've had some problems with inlet air temperatures. We finally diagnosed the problems and have parts on hand to fix it. And had I understand the system a little better from the beginning, I'd be, it would have had this fixed uh, a lot earlier. So let me show you what you've got. So the main radiator, this is the engine cooling system, and it all has, also has a built-in oil cooler system. It is separate from the, the inlet air temperature radiator. This system, now, the, so it's got oil lines that feed into it, and it also has water lines that feed into it. Uh, has the small radiator cap, and it has the overflow system. The intercooler, heat exchanger radiator, or whatever you want to call it, is bolted in front of that. I've got it out of the car right now. So it has got a radiator in it and it circulates fluid. Fluid comes out the side of that and it circulates down to this heat exchanger right here. You have air that comes from the turbo and passes through that and lowers the temperatures of the air. And that's the way if it, it takes the sensor, uh, the sensor takes the temperature reading somewhere in there. And when that gets too hot, it goes into limp mode. Uh, my understanding is the temperature on this operating temperatures on it should be in the 100 to 150 range. When it's working, we never see much over 110. That's kind of the range that we're in. Now the coolant for that system, this is behind the driver's side uh, back passenger seat. There's a panel there that comes off. There is a small electric pump right here. Sometimes if it gets air in the system, this pump will cavitate and somewhere in between here, it gets trapped and that will cavitate a little bit. And you can, if, if you don't have water leaving the system like I had, you can squeeze these hoses. Uh, I, early on, I had it where I shut it off and restarted it. But when you turn the key on, you will hear this hum. And uh, that's, what, that's what circulates the water. This system, because it operates at a low temperature, it does not have any kind of catch can. So when you fill it with liquid and it's full of the top and you put the cap on it, uh, there's no other place for it to escape unless you have an issue with the fittings or something else, but there's no, there's no catch can on it. So the issue that I had on mine is, let me turn it over. This is mine out of my car. This is the replacement that they sent me is in the back of the car. We had an oil line rubbing up against it. Let me get in here close. And is what we had is you can see the holes in that row right there. It wore through it and water ran out of the system. Causes inlet air temperatures to go up, car to go into limp mode, uh, frustrating driving on a trip. But uh, what was happening is I was putting water into the system and it was exiting through here. We had it dripping down here or there was times that I had it parked on a hill trying to make sure that it was burped and bubbling. But we had water leaking out of the system. And when I talked to Robbie... We had a conversation about this that I had water leaking out and I didn't understand there is no catch can on this. So if you're pouring liquid, clear liquid in up top out here and you're getting liquid down here that has coolant in it, you have a leak in the system. That's what was happening to me right in here. You can see a little bit leaking here and on top of the motor. So just be aware of that. If you put water in it and it leaks out somewhere else, it's not coming out of the overflow. It's coming out of, you've got a hole in the radiator, you've got a hole in the line or something like that. So just be aware of that. Uh, it can just get air in the system and need to be burped out. And that's what I was originally doing is I had a vacuum pump on it. We were trying to pull it out. But as we were standing in this location here and pulling vacuum, I could hear bubbling. I could hear air bubbles coming in through the liquid that was in the heat exchanger. It was on the other side of this. So share that so that you understand how this system works. If you got a problem with it, you can diagnose it better. Hope this helps out.